Well, welcome back, everybody, to a better me series on today. We're going to be dealing with the last segment of uh, the wives of the devil. Um, thank you for returning for this last part today. We are down to our uh, daily prayer. If you will join me with your head back. Our Heavenly Father, the Creator of all things, we come to you today, Lord, with thanksgiving and praise for who you are and all that you do and have done and will do, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your, your grace and your mercy toward us daily, Lord Jesus for looking after us, keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all of that, Lord. We thank you for being uh, our ever-present help in whatever our needs are today, Lord, and every day. Yes, Lord, and we ask you to continue to render those favors unto us, Lord. Uh, we asking and especially for the ones that are ill. Lord, we ask that you uh, deliver, uh, bring healing unto the bodies, Lord. Deliver them from whatever the cause is, Lord Jesus. If it be thy will, Lord, we are asking you to go in unto all of those who are in the nursing homes, Lord, all of those who are in bereavement, Lord. We ask you to give them comfort and strength, Lord, to endure uh, these difficult times that they have to deal with, Lord. Give them strength, yes, Lord. And we're also asking you to cover all of those, Lord, those individuals who are proclaiming your word, the gospel of Jesus Christ, Lord. Yes, Lord, we ask that you uh, keep them encouraged. Yes, Lord, that they may continue rightly dividing the word of truth, Lord, that some one may come unto to you, Lord. Yes, Lord, and we also ask, Lord, that all of those who are connected with me, Lord, that's family, that's friends, acquaintances, and in foes, Lord, we ask that you will uh, look down on them, keep them in your care, Lord, and all of these blessings I ask in your name, Jesus. Amen. All right, then. We're moving right along. And we will be continuing with our final segment of the wiles of the devil. And as I stated before, uh, this is a reference coming from the website Got Questions. And this is a particular website that... Uh, uh, specializes in the, uh, uh, the Word of God and uh, all type of religious concerns. Yes. Okay, so we are at uh, our next Wiles of the Devil tactics and strategies that he uses and they are Offering a tempting alternative to obedience. Another scheme of the wise of the devil used in the temptation of Jesus was to suggest another path. Avoiding strict obedience to God's will. Cunningly, Satan knew better than to 
suggests that Jesus forget the whole salvation plan and go back to heaven instead he offered an alternative and you'll find that in Luke chapter 4 verse 5 and 7 the devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdom of the world and he said to him I will give you all their authority and splendor it has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to if you worship me it will be all yours this temptation was aimed at the hum humility of the son of man that means the human part of Jesus. Jesus now knew what it felt like to be in the flesh. He knew that spikes would feel like in his hands and feet. He knew what rejection and mockery would feel like when he was stripped naked and paraded before the crowd. Satan was offering him a compromise. What if Jesus could save the world without having to suffer crucifixion? What if he could take a shortcut and pass and possess all the world's kingdom now? One of the most sinister wiles of the devil involves his ability to offer a religiously tainted compromise. He knows he can't come at mature believers with a frontal attack on their values and convictions. So he slides in the back door, posing as a friend with a reasonable alternative. Well, yes, technically, it might be wrong for someone to move in with a boyfriend, but you can witness to him better as he watches you live out your faith. Or this, you don't need to go to church to be spiritual. You connect better with God alone in the woods. Those people are all hypocrites anyway. And you are too righteous to associate with them. We must be aware of the devil's wiles. When he offers something other than total obedience to God's will. The New Testament writers often pointed out the wiles of the devil to those in the church who were who were failing, who were falling for them. And we should take note. The presence of false prophets spoken of in 1 Timothy Chapter 6, verse 3 through 5. Busy bodies, spoken of in 1 Peter 4 and 15. Adulterous, spoken of in 1 Timothy 1, 9 and 10. And seducers, spoken of in Revelations 2 and 20. Are all part of Satan's master plan 
to undermine the church from within. To combat the wiles of the devil, followers of Christ must stay clothed in the armor of God. We must stay immersed, immersed in his word so that we recognize deceptions. And when we, re and when we realize we have been caught in the wiles of the devil, we must quickly repent and seek godly accountability. Spoken of in Psalms 37, 23 and 24. Encourage those who desire to live godly lives. The steps of a man were established by the Lord. When he delights in his way, though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong. For the Lord upholds his hands when the Lord holds our hand. The devil's wiles cannot harm us. So, as I stated, you have to be knowledgeable of his strategies, his trickery, his manipulation. And in order to do that, you have to know what the Word of God says and abide by it. That's how you will escape His wild.